Hello everybody, today I'd like to show you a nice little program I found on Universal Updater. It's called Ctroller and as the description says, lets you play games on your PC with your 3DS as a controller. It also has a GitHub page, which I will link below, that explains how you can build this program from source. However, honestly, I don't quite understand it. You need to build some 3DS binaries or something. Luckily, I am on an Arch-based Linux distribution, which means I have the AUR to my help. If you're on an Arch distribution, then install the ctroller bin package from the AUR and you're all set up and ready to use your 3DS as a controller. Having said that, as far as I know, this is a Linux only app, so you sadly won't be able to use this on Windows or macOS. You can see me installing ctroller on my 3DS in the background here, it's super simple, just get it, install it, and it'll be on your home screen. Once you've installed it, open ctroller on your 3DS and you'll see some info on the bottom screen like which version you're using, the configuration file it's using, the client, the server, and the port that it's listening to. I'm not going to show you what my bottom screen looks like because there is IP addresses on there and I don't want to leak that. However, rest assured, the only thing you need to do after you've started Ctroller on your 3DS is to go into your terminal or a desktop app if you've made that and start Ctroller from there. It does have a few flags which I'll go over. Ctroller has four flags in total, being daemonize, help, port, and uinput device. However, you probably won't need help, port, or uinput device as they're gonna get configured to the defaults and will just work, at least in my case. The most important flag that you'll probably be interested in is the dash d or dash dash daemonize flag, which, as it says, executes Ctroller in the background. If you ran Ctroller normally in your terminal, as you can see here, it would force you to stay in the program itself. You'd have to press Ctrl C or exit the program in any other way to regain access to your command line. Now, if you use the dash D option, as you see, it loads in the background. However, if you want to disconnect your 3DS again, you'll have to run kill all Ctroller or kill it from any task manager that you want. Once you've started Ctroller on your 3DS, you can run Ctroller dash D to demonize it, as I said. And there is one feature in Ctroller that is a little bit useless, but still fun to play around with. It is the fact that you can use the 3DS touchpad as a mouse emulator, I would call it. Because funnily enough, it doesn't even get picked up by XI. So you can see me moving the mouse cursor with my 3DS screen. If I move it with the mouse, you can see XI's reacts accordingly. With using the 3DS screen, it doesn't detect anything, and the eyes just stay in the same direction. Which is a little bit curious, I'm not quite sure why that happens. But let's start talking about what this program would actually be used for. I'm gonna go ahead and load up RetroArch. Make it full screen, and you can see at the bottom it says Nintendo 3DS not configured. That doesn't really matter. Let's go into our input settings, to the port 1 controls, and on device index it should have selected Nintendo 3DS for you. And now, all you need to do is use your 3DS as a controller. It's that simple. It's super easy to set up. You can load a core. You can move around with the D-pad and with the circle pad just fine. I'm going to load up Mario Kart 7 here. And you can see we're in the game. It works wonderfully. No issues at all. Right, so we're now in a race. Let's see if everything works correctly. You can spin up with A, accelerate further with Y, you can drift with R like usual. Try get an item box. There you go. I must work wonderfully. I missed the snipe and I am horrible at this game. Now I have set it up so I can press ZR to access the RetroArch menu. If I didn't have that set up I could just press another key on my keyboard for example but not to do that. But that's really all there is to know. It's just a controller that works nice on your PC. And there you have it, that's my overview of Ctroller, a really small but very very nice and useful program that you can use for emulation or for other things that you want. You can even use it as a mouse if you don't have one, but that's sort of a last resort. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you later.